IGA Natalia Swiatek, born May 31, 2001, is a Polish professional tennis player. She is currently ranked as the world number one in women's singles by the Women's Tennis Association, WTA, having held the position for a total of 118 weeks. Swiatek has won five Grand Slam singles titles and is the only player representing Poland to win a major singles title. She has won the French Open four times and the U.S. Open once. Swiatek has won 22 singles titles, including the 2023 WTA Finals and 10 WTA 1000 titles. As a junior, Swiatek was the 2018 French Open Girls Doubles Champion alongside Katie McNally and the 2018 Wimbledon Girls Singles Champion. Swiatek began playing regularly on the WTA Tour in 2019 and entered the top 50 at 18 years old after her first tour final and a fourth-round appearance at the 2019 French Open. During her French Open title run in 2020, Swiatek lost no more than five games in any singles match. She entered the top 10 of the WTA rankings for the first time in May 2021 after winning the Italian Open. In 2022, Swiatek won back-to-back -back WTA 1000 titles at Qatar and Indian Wells to reach number 2, then became number 1 on April 4, 2022, the first Polish player to do so. During this time, Swiatek accumulated a 37-match winning streak, the longest on the WTA tour in the 21st century. With major titles at the French and US Opens, she finished 2022 as the dominant number 1. In 2023, she defended her French Open title and claimed the WTA finals to finish as year end number one again. She has claimed the French Open title at four of her six appearances at the tournament, having never lost a match before the fourth round. Swiatek has an all court playing style. She won the WTA fan favorite shot of the year in 2019 with a drop shot from the baseline and was voted WTA fan favorite singles player of the year in 2020. In 2023, she was named Lequipe Champion of Champions and Polish Sports Personality of the Year and included on Time's annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Early Life and Background IGA Swiatek was born on May 31, 2001 in Warsaw to Dorota and Tomasz Swiatek. Her father is a former rower who competed in the men's quadruple skulls event at the 1988 Seoul Olympics, while her mother is an orthodontist. She has a sister, Agata, who is about three years older and is a dentist. Their father wanted his daughters to become competitive athletes and preferred they take up an individual sport rather than a team sport to have better control of their chances of success. Agata started out as a swimmer, but switched to tennis. Agata briefly competed on the ITF junior circuit in 2013 at about 15 years old but stopped playing due to injury troubles IGA followed her sister into tennis because she wanted to beat her and also because she wanted to be more like her. IGA trained at Mara Warsaw as a 14-year-old before later moving to Legia Warsaw. Junior Career Swiatek with the 2018 Wimbledon Junior Champions Trophy Swiatek reached a career-high ranking of number 5 as a junior player. She began competing in ITF Junior Circuit events in 2015 and won back-to-back low-level grade 4 titles in April and May at age 13. Before the end of the year, she moved up to grade 2 events and finished runner-up in both singles and doubles at the Czech Junior Open. Swiatek made her Junior Grand Slam tournament debut in 2016 at the French Open, reaching the quarterfinals in both singles and doubles. She followed this up with her best junior title to date at the Grade 1 Canadian Open Junior Championships, defeating Olga Danilovic in the final. Swiatek had a strong first half of 2017. She won both the singles and doubles titles at the Grade 1 Terralgan Junior International. Although she lost her opening round match at the Australian Open, she partnered with compatriot Maya Kwalenska to make her first final in a major tournament finishing runner-up in doubles to the North American team of Bianca Andrescu and Carson Branstein. She then reached her first grade-A singles final at the Trofeo Bonfiglio, losing to Elena Rybakina. Her season came to an end after another quarter-final at the French Open, after which she had right ankle surgery that kept her out for seven months. Despite only competing in two Grand Slam tournaments in 2018 and three singles events in total, 
Swiatek finished her junior career with her best season, she returned to the junior tour at the French Open after a one-year absence and reached the semifinals in singles, losing to Katie McNally she fared better in doubles, partnering with McNally to win her first junior major title. They defeated the Japanese team of Yuki Mato and Nahal Sato in the final. Swiatek played only singles at Wimbledon. As an unseeded player due to her absence, she was drawn against top seed Whitney Osuagui in the first round. After winning that match in three sets, she did not drop another set during the rest of the tournament and won the championship for her only junior major singles title. She defeated Leonie Kung in the final Swiatek then teamed up with the Slovenian Kaya Jivan to compete in the 2018 Summer Youth Olympics. They reached the final and defeated the Japanese team of Yuki Mato and Nahal Sato. She then finished her junior career. Professional career. 2016-2018, undefeated in seven ITF circuit finals. Swiatek at the 2018 Summer Youth Olympics. Swiatek began competing on the ITF women's circuit in 2016 and played on the circuit through the end of 2018. She won all seven ITF singles finals she reached ranging from the first four at the $10,000 to $15,000 level to one at the $25,000 level followed up by two at the $60,000 level. Her first three titles came at 15 years old, the fourth was in February 2018 in her first tournament back from a seven-month layoff due to injury, after a $25,000 title in April, Swiatek moved up to higher-level ITF events later that month. Following her junior Wimbledon title in July, she skipped the junior U.S. Open to stay in Europe. During the two weeks of the U.S. Open, she won back-to-back -back $60,000 titles at the NEK Ladies Open in Hungary and the Montreux Ladies Open in Switzerland during the second event. She defeated top seed and world number 120, Mariana Duque Marino. These were Swiatek's last two ITF tournaments of the year with these two titles. She entered the top 200 for the first time at the age of 17 rising from number 298 to number 180 in those two weeks. 2019, first WTA Tour Final, Top 50 Debut Swiatek at the 2019 Prague Open Despite never playing on the WTA Tour before 2019, Swiatek was able to compete in only tour-level events throughout the year. After failing to qualify at the Auckland Open, she qualified for her first major main draw at the Australian Open. She then defeated No. 82, Anna Bogdan, in three sets, in her debut match, to reach the second round. At her next three tournaments, she also qualified at the Hungarian Ladies' Open, but not at either of the premier mandatory events in March. Swiatek made her first WTA breakthrough at the Ladies' Open Lugano in April. With her first direct acceptance into a main draw, she made her first WTA final. During the event, she upset number 3 seed Victoria Kozmova in the second round for her first top 50 victory. She ultimately finished runner-up to Polona Herkog in three sets. Moreover, a precise cross-court forehand drop shot she hit against Kristina Pliskova in the semifinal was voted the 2019 WTA shot of the year, with the runner-up. She also made her debut in the top 100 while still 17 years old. Swiatek closed out her clay court season with a fourth-round appearance at the French Open in her. Second major, she upset number 16 Wang Chung in the second round for her first top 20 victory, before losing to defending champion Simona Halep. Swiatek could not repeat her French Open success at the remaining major tournaments of the year, losing her opening match at Wimbledon and in the second round at the U.S. Open. Her best result in the second half of the season was a third-round appearance at the Canadian Open. During the event, she upset number 18, Caroline Wozniacki, before losing to number 2, Naomi Osaka with this result, she entered the top 50 for the first time a week later, she missed the rest of the season after the US Open to undergo foot surgery and finished the year at number 61 in the world. 2020, first French Open title, top 20 debut. Swiatek made her return to the WTA Tour at the Australian Open. She matched her best result at a major with another fourth-round appearance, this time highlighted by a victory over number 20, Donna Vekic. She defeated Vekic again at the Qatar Open, her last match win before the WTA Tour was shut down for six months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Swiatek continued her major tournament success once the tour resumed. 
She reached the third round at the U.S. Open, losing to eventual runner-up, Victoria Azarenka. Entering the rescheduled French Open in September, Swiatek was ranked number 54 in the world. Nonetheless, she won the singles event for her maiden WTA title. During the tournament, she defeated 2019 runner-up and world number 19, Marketa Vondrasova, in the opening round. Her biggest upset was a victory in the fourth round over top seed and world number 2, Simona Halep, who was on a 17-match win streak and was also the heavy favorite to win the title. She only lost three games against Halep after winning just one game against her in the same round of the French Open the previous year. Swiatek defeated world number six, Sofia Kennan, in the final to become the first Polish A player to win a major singles title and the lowest-ranked French Open champion in the history of the WTA rankings. She also became the youngest singles champion at the tournament since Rafael Nadal in 2005 and the youngest women's singles winner since Monica Seles in 1992. She won the title without dropping a set or more than five games to any opponent, and the 28 games she lost in total were tied for the second fewest among French Open singles champions in the Open era behind only the 20 games Steffi Graf lost in 1988. With the title, Swiatek rose to number 17 in the world. She also played the doubles event, partnering with Nicole Melicher for the first time. The pair reached the semifinals, and also did not drop a set until their last match. 2021, WTA 1000 title, top 10 debut. At the Australian Open, Swiatek was seated 15th and recorded wins over Aranxa Russ, Camila Giorgi, and Fiona Farrow. She reached the fourth round where she lost to Simona Halep, in three sets. At Adelaide, she won her first WTA Tour title without dropping a set in the whole tournament. She defeated Belinda Bensick in the final, in straight sets. As a result, she entered the top 15 for the first time in her career, in March 2021. Seated 15th, Swiatek won her first career WTA 1000 title at the Italian Open, defeating former champion Karolina Pliskova in just 46 minutes without the loss of a single game. She advanced to the final after defeating two-time champion and world number five, Alina Svitolina, and the second-best-ranked teenager Coco Goff on the same day, as well as saving match points in her third-round match against Barbara Krejcikova. Swiatek became the third player to win a title after saving match point on route in 2021, alongside Naomi Osaka at the Australian Open and Ashley Barty in Miami. She also became the fourth teenager to win a WTA 1000 event. This successful run to her third career title moved her into the top 10 in the singles rankings on May 17, 2021, as world number 9. At the French Open, Swiatek was seated at number 8. She opened her title defense winning against Kaya Juvin in the first round, and then defeated Rebecca Peterson, Annette Contevet, and Marta Kostuk. She won 22 straight sets at the French Open but then lost in the quarterfinals to Maria Sakkari. In doubles, seeded 14th with Bethany Matek Sands as a pair, playing just their third event together, they reached the final where they were defeated by Barbara Krejcikova and Katerina Siniakova in straight sets. As a result, Swiatek reached the top 50 at a career-high ranking of number 42 in doubles for the first time in her career. She started her grass court season at the Eastbourne International, where she was seated at number 4. After defeating Heather Watson, she lost to Daria Kasatkina in the second round. As the seventh seed at Wimbledon, Swiatek defeated Si Suwe, Vera Zvonareva, and Irina Camelia Begu, all in straight sets. In the fourth round, she lost to Ans Jabur, in three sets, with her win over Annette Contevet in the third round of the U.S. Open. She became the only player to have reached the second week of all four major championships in the 2021 season. She qualified for the WTA finals for the first time in her career. 2022, world number one, two major titles, 37 match winning streak. Swiatek started her season by reaching the semi finals at the Adelaide International. She then reached another semi final at the Australian Open, following a second round match loss against Yelena Ostapenko. Swiatek won the next six tournaments she entered, Qatar Ladies Open, Indian Wells Open, Miami Open, Stuttgart Open, Italian Open and, for her second major title, French Open, before losing to Alize Cornette at Wimbledon in the third round, Swiatek reached the world number one singles ranking, and became
the fourth as well as the youngest woman, 11th player overall, to complete the Sunshine Double in the process. She also accumulated a 37-match win streak, the longest in the 21st century. Swiatek had a lackluster performance throughout the summer. She lost to Caroline Garcia in the quarterfinals in Warsaw, Beatrice Haddad Maya in the third round in Toronto, and Madison Keys in the third round in Cincinnati. However, she returned on form at the U.S. Open, winning her third major by defeating Anne Jabeur in the final. She became the first woman to win both the French Open and U.S. Open in the same season since Serena Williams in 2013. Swiatek reached the final at the Ostrava Open but she lost to Barbara Krejcikova in a three-set match that lasted three hours and 16 minutes, the longest match of her career so far. She subsequently played at the San Diego Open, winning her eighth title by defeating Donna Vekic, in three sets. At the 2022 WTA Finals held in Fort Worth, Texas, Swiatek won the group stage without dropping a set, defeating Daria Kasatkina, Caroline Garcia, and Coco Gauff, respectively. However, she was upset by Irina Sabalenka in the semifinals in three sets. Nevertheless, she finished the season as year end number one and posted a record win loss 67 9 in 2022, the most wins in a single season since Serena Williams in 2013. She also became the first player since Serena Williams in 2013 to collect over 11,000 ranking points in a single season. She accumulated the second-highest ranking points total in WTA history, second only to Serena Williams in 2013. 2023, French Open and WTA Finals Champion, Year-End No. 1 Swiatek's 2023 campaign was statistically less dominant than her 2022 season, but she still managed to win six titles in the year. She started 2023 as only the fourth woman in WTA history to be ranked world number one for 40 or more consecutive weeks in their first stint as the top-ranked player, I and her first tournament of the year representing Poland at the United Cup. She partnered with her compatriots including Hubert Herkax and reached the semi-finals. At the Australian Open, she lost in the fourth round in straight sets against Elena Rybakina, who would upset Swiatek two more times later in the year, respectively in the semi. Finals at the Indian Wells Open and in the quarterfinals at the Italian Open. Swiatek at the 2023 French Open. She did not win any tournament until the Qatar Ladies Open, where she did not drop a set throughout the tournament and only lost five games. The clay season saw her successfully defend her Stuttgart Open title, as well as winning her fourth major at the French Open by defeating Karolina Machova in the final, after improvement on the grass court with a quarterfinal performance at Wimbledon which ended her 14-match win streak, she won her home tournament at the Poland Open. At the U.S. Open, Swiatek lost in the fourth round against Yelena Ostapenko, which ended her reign at world number no. 1. Her 75-week reign at number no. 1 is the third-longest streak in the Open era among players in their first stint as the top player, behind only Steffi Graf and Martina Hingis. Nevertheless, she went on to win the China Open. At the WTA Finals, she won the title without dropping a set, becoming the first player to do so since Serena Williams in 2012. She also dropped just 20 games throughout the entire tournament, the fewest since the reintroduction of the round-robin format in 2003, and beat Serena Williams's record of 32 overall games dropped. By conceding only one game to Jessica Pagula, Swiatek also broke the record for fewest games lost in a final, previously held by Martina Navratilova in 1983 and Kim Kleisters in 2003, two each, winning the title saw her reclaiming the top ranking and clinching year-end number one for the second season in a row. 2024, French Open, for WTA 1000 titles, Olympic bronze medal. Swiatek entered the United Cup in an international team competition, representing Team Poland. She reached the final winning all of her singles matches and received the MVP award of the event, I in the third round of the Australian Open, she was upset by Linda Nuskova in three sets, and as a result of this loss her 18-match winning streak came to an end which started in September 2023. Despite this earlier loss she kept her world number one ranking. In February, Swiatek entered the Qatar Ladies Open as a two-time defending champion. She reached the final after having defeated Serena Sursti, 14 THC to Katerina Alexandrova and Victoria Azarenka. By in the final, 
she faced Elena Rybakina winning in straight sets and claiming her seventh WTA 1000 title. Swiatek did not drop a set en route to the title for the second consecutive year. She also became the first person to win three consecutive titles in Doha and the first player to win three consecutive titles at the same hardcourt tournament since Serena Williams in 2015.AT the next WTA 1000 tournament in Dubai, she reached back-to-back -back quarterfinals defeating 15th seed Alina Svitolina in the round of 16. She was the fourth player since the WTA 1000 format's introduction in 2009 to make the quarterfinals in nine-plus consecutive appearances between Dubai 2023, Dubai 2024, after Serena Williams, Maria Sharapova, and Agnieszka Radwanska she then advanced to the semi-finals where she lost to Anna Kalinskaya in straight sets. In March, Swiatek won the Indian Wells Open for a second time, defeating Maria Sakkari in the final, this was her second title of the season and 19th overall. In Miami, she recorded her 100th WTA 1000 career match when defeating Camila Georgi in one hour in straight sets. In April, Swiatek entered the Stuttgart Open as a two-time defending champion and reached the semi-final where she lost to Elena Rybakina in three sets, which ended her 10-match winning streak in the tournament. I in the same month, she entered her 100th week as the reigning world number one surpassing Lindsay Davenport and moving to the ninth place in the all-time table. At the Madrid Open, she reached the final where she faced the defending champion and second seed Irina Sabalenka. Swiatek played the longest match against Sabalenka in her career thus far, which lasted over three hours. Swiatek saved three championship points in the third set and won her 20th career title. The match has been praised as a classic and the best of their rivalry, with Swiatek stating that it was the most intense and crazy final she has played. In May, at the next WTA 1000, the Italian Open, she reached a second consecutive final with a win over world number no. 3 Coco Goff in straight sets. I in the final, she beat again Irina Sabalenka, this time in straight sets, becoming the most successful Polish tennis player in terms of the number of titles won surpassing Agnieszka Radwanska with 21. It was also her 10th WTA 1000 title and fourth on clay, and the third in Rome. She became the third female player after Serena Williams and Dinara Safina who completed the Madrid-Rome sweep, and the first player, female or male, to achieve it since 2013 when both Williams and Rafael Nadal won Madrid and Rome. Swiatek won the 2024 French Open, which was her third French Open title in a row and fourth overall. Swiatek only lost one set during the tournament, which was to Naomi Osaka in the second round, where Osaka held match point in the third set. After defeating Osaka, Swiatek lost only 17 games, defeating Marie Buzkova in the third round, Anastasia Potapova in the fourth round, Marketa Vondrasova in the quarterfinal, Coco Goff in the semifinal, and Jasmine Paulini in the final. Swiatek became the third player in history to win three consecutive French Open titles, after Monica Seles and Justine Hennen had done so and the second woman to win Madrid, Rome, and the French Open in the same season, after Serena Williams in 2013. Swiatek's overall match win record during the 2024 spring clay court swing was 21-1, losing only to Elena Rybakina in Stuttgart in April. Since her loss there, Swiatek has been on a 19-match winning streak. Having not played since her French Open triumph, Swiatek lost in round three at the 2024 Wimbledon Championships to Yulia Putintseva, thus ending her 21-match winning streak. At the 2024 Summer Olympics, Swiatek defeated Irina Camelia Begu, Diane Perry, Wang Xiu, and Danielle Collins. In the semi-final, she lost to Zhang Qinwen in straight sets. This marked Swiatek's first loss in Paris after 1,149 days of staying undefeated. I in the bronze medal match, she beat Anna Karolina Schmidlova in straight sets becoming the first player from Poland to win an Olympic medal in tennis. At the Cincinnati Open, Swiatek reached the semifinals, where she lost to the eventual champion Irina Sabalenka. National Representation Junior Competitions Swiatek, Left, and Kaya Juven, the 2018 Summer Youth Olympics gold medalists in girls' doubles. Swiatek represented Poland at the ITF World Junior Tennis Finals for 14 and under girls twice in 2014 and 2015. 
She won all of her matches in 2014 to lead Poland to a ninth-place finish out of 16 teams. The following year, she helped Poland go undefeated in the round-robin stage to reach the semifinals. Swiatek moved up to the 16 and under Junior Fed Cup in 2016, where she played alongside Maja Kwalinska and Stefania rogozinska -Jek. Poland won the title, defeating the United States 2-1 in the final. Swiatek won both of her rubbers in the final tie, defeating Amanda and Isimova in singles before partnering with Kwalenska to defeat Katie McNally and Claire Liu in the decisive doubles rubber. The last event of Swiatek's junior career was the 2018 Summer Youth Olympic Games. Although she lost in the quarterfinals in singles to Clara Burel, she partnered with Slovenian Kaya Juvin to win the gold medal in doubles. In the final they defeated Nato and Sato who were also Swiatek's opponents in the French Open doubles final earlier in the year. Billie Jean King Cup Swiatek made her senior Billie Jean King Cup debut in 2018 when Poland was in Europe-slash-Africa zone group I.T.O. advance out of this group, Poland needed to win their round-robin group, a playoff tie against one of the other round-robin group winners. And then another playoff tie as part of the separate World Group 2 playoff round. They did not win their round-robin group in 2018 or 2019. Swiatek won her only singles match in 2018. While she only won one of her three singles matches in 2019, she won both of her doubles rubbers while partnering with Alicja Rosolska. The following year, the format was changed so that Poland only needed to finish in the top two out of three teams in their round-robin group to reach the promotional playoff. Nonetheless, they won their group and defeated Sweden 2-0 in the playoff to advance to the separate playoff round. Swiatek won all three of her singles matches in the 2020 Europe-slash-Africa zone group by round, before skipping the playoffs themselves. The following edition in 2022 had Poland facing Romania in the qualifying round, with Swiatek winning her two games to help the team move on to the finals. However, she did not attend the finals because the decisive round started very soon after the 2022 WTA finals. The rib injury Swiatek encountered shortly after exiting the 2023 Indian Wells Open also cost her to miss Poland's 2023 Billie Jean King Cup qualifier against Kazakhstan in Astana. Overall, Swiatek has a 9-3 record at the Fed Cup, comprising 7-2 in singles and 2-1 in doubles by in 2024. Swiatek participated in a match against Switzerland winning two matches in singles and contributing to Poland's 4-0 win, which secured the country's place in November's finals in Seville for a third consecutive year. Rivalries Irina Sabalenka IGA Swiatek and Irina Sabalenka have met 12 times since 2021, with Swiatek in control of the head-to-head -head at 8-4 in official competitions, their rivalry is seen as having a potential to be counted among those that shape the history of tennis. Their most lauded match is the 2024 Madrid Open final in which Swiatek defeated defending champion Sabalenka in three sets after three hours and 11 minutes, also saving three championship points in the process. Playing style Swiatek hitting a backhand at the 2019 Prague Open Swiatek has an aggressive, all-court style of play and incorporates a lot of variety into her game. Because her game style is focused on offense, she typically generates high amounts of both winners and unforced errors. She has described her style of play on clay as a big serve, topspin, and backhand down the line. Despite her aggressive style of play, she plays with margin and constructs points carefully until she creates an opportunity to hit a winner, and in all seven of her matches played at the 2020 French Open, she hit more winners than unforced errors. In total at the French Open that year, she hit 175 winners to 127 unforced errors. The basis of Swiatek's game was described by tennis journalist Christopher Clary for the New York Times as, her sliding ability, allowing her to defend from the corners a la Kim Kleisters and Novak Djokovic, a sprinter's speed when moving forward to the net, power and topspin akin to her idol Rafael Nadal and mental strength forged through sports psychology. Her forehand and backhand are fast and powerful, with her forehand being hit with significant topspin due to her employing an extreme western grip. On her run to the title at the French Open in 2020, Swiatek's average forehand speed was 73 miles per hour, 117 kilometers per hour, only 4 kilometers per hour below that of the average male forehand speed. 
She even hit some forehands up to 79 miles per hour, 127 kilometers per hour, the fastest of any female player in the draw and exceeded only by Jan Nick Sinner on the men's side. Her forehand topspin reached 3,453 rpm at the French Open, comparable with her idol Rafael Nadal. Swiatek's backhand speed peaked at 76 miles per hour, 122 kilometers per hour, at the French Open the fastest of any female player in the draw, and equal to Dominic Thames' backhand speed, the fastest of any male player at the French Open. Considering her dominance on clay, Swiatek is often called the Queen of Clay. Swiatek aims to come to the net, and has good volleying skills due to her doubles experience. Swiatek possesses an accurate first serve, peaking at 123 miles per hour, 198 kilometers per hour, and averaging at 108 miles per hour. 174 km per hour, allowing her to serve aces, dictate play from the first stroke, and win a majority of first serve points. She possesses an effective kick serve and an effective slice serve, which are deployed as second serves, preventing opponents from scoring free points. In earlier years of her career, she regularly used the drop shot and won the 2019 WTA Shot of the Year with a cross-court drop shot from the baseline that landed on the sideline well inside the service box. Since the beginning of her collaboration with Tomasz Wojtarowski, she simplified her game and currently very rarely employs this shot. Swiatek aims to gain the advantage in a point by hitting the ball early on the rise. Further strengths include her exceptional speed, movement, and court. Coverage, detailed and intricate footwork, and intelligent point construction. Her favorite surface is clay, having grown up playing on that surface, although she has had success on all surfaces, her clay court success is enhanced by her ability to slide on the surface, as her career has progressed, she has also developed the ability to slide on hard and grass courts, too. Swiatek finished runner-up to Simona Halep in the voting for the WTA Fan Favorite Singles Player of the Year Award in 2019, IN 2020. She was voted the WTA Fan Favorite Singles Player of the Year. Bagels Swiatek's tendency to bagel or breadstick her opponents has led to the term IGA's bakery entering tennis parlance. Over Swiatek's WTA career up until May 2024 an average of 40.6% of her matches have included either a 6-0 set or a 6-1 dot. During the 2023 season, she won a bagel set in 29% of her matches compared with an average of 11.4% of matches for matches in which she wasn't playing. Her closest bagel rivals are Coco Goff and Jessica Pagula, both of whom scored 8 in 2023. As of June 2024, she has dispensed the rarer double bagel eight times in her WTA career, though only two have come during a major tournament, which were against Sinyu Wang in the 2023 French Open and against Anastasia Potapova in the 2024 French Open. Coaching Team Swiatek practicing with her coach Tomasz Wojtarowski at the 2023 US Open. Swiatek's primary coach in her early junior years was Michael Kaznowski, who she worked with up to the 2016 French Open. Jelanta Russin Krasipoda was her physical preparation trainer for almost four years through the end of the 2019 U.S. Open. Swiatek was coached by Pyotr Sears-Potowski beginning in 2016. While Sears-Potowski was her coach, British former professional tennis player and former Polish Davis Cup coach Nick Brown also served as a main consultant on occasion. Swiatek also works with sports. Psychologist Daria Abramovich and fitness trainer slash physiologist Mace Rysak. In December 2021, Swiatek announced that she was splitting from Sears Potowski after nearly six years working together. She wrote, This change is really challenging for me, and this decision wasn't easy, either. Swiatek had hired Sears Potowski when she was 15 and still playing in junior tournaments. Her current coach is Tomasz Wojtarowski, who previously coached Agnieszka Radwanska. Endorsements. Swiatek is now sponsored by the Roger Federer backed Swiss company On for Clothing and Shoes, as of March 20, 2023, and became the first female tennis player to be sponsored by On. She had been sponsored by ASICS for Clothing and Shoes since the start of 2020. She was previously sponsored by Nike. Swiatek was also previously endorsed by the Red Bull Energy Drink Company, the Chinese tech giant Xiaomi, and the Lexus division of the Toyota Automaker Company the latter of which have also sponsored fellow Polish tennis player Agnieszka Radwanska. 
From February 2021 till January 2024 her main partner was Poland's biggest insurance company PZU.By in 2021, Swiatek signed an endorsement deal with Technofiber for rackets, she previously used a Prince Techstream 100 Tor racket, although she was not under contract with the company. To celebrate the victory at the 2022 French Open with a Technofiber racket and to recognize the female athlete, the company changed its marketing name to Swiatenafiber and its trademark to the colors white and red for seven days. It was the first women's major title for this manufacturer. Swiatek's father also confirmed that she had also signed a contract with Rolex in 2021. After winning her third major title at the 2022 U.S. Open, Swiatek parted ways with her long-term manager and began to be represented by IMG with agent Max Eisenbud, IN 2023. Swiatek announced that she has become a global ambassador for the Polish sports drink Gashi. She will also release collaboration line with the brand, including her own drink flavor and bottle design. On June 26, 2023, Swiatek has announced her partnership with Porsche. In August 2023, Swiatek has been announced as a global ambassador of Visa. On August 25, 2023, Infosys has announced Swiatek as their global brand ambassador alongside Rafael Nadal. In April 2024, Swiatek became the brand ambassador of Lancome. Charity Work and Philanthropy Since 2021, Swiatek has been involved with the Great Orchestra of Christmas Charity. She has put up her winning racket from the final of her first French Open. The racket ended up getting sold with the price of 131,300 Polish Slotic which outpriced the signed Champions League winning kit of Robert Lewandowski, money helped to fund new equipment for pediatric ENT, otolaryngology, and head diagnostics, IN 2022. While playing at the Australian Open, she put up another racket, this time from final of Italian Open, but this time the offer also included training with the buyer. Besides the racket, Swiatek also put her signed Tokyo Olympics 2020 kit, her signature cap and multiple tennis balls with autographs up for auction. The offer was yet again met with a lot of interest and in the end was sold for 189,100 Polish Slotic, which was the second best seller. The money would help to fund equipment for pediatric ophthalmology. In 2023, Swiatek put up her winning racket with which she won both U.S. Open and French Open in 2022. Besides the racket, she also included a double invitation to her first-round match in Roland Garros 2023 and an opportunity to meet her in person behind the scenes after the match. The pass would also allow the winners of the auction to watch all matches on the said day for free. All proceeds would go to funding medication for sepsis. Swiatek's offer was auctioned for 300,300 Polish Slotek, making it the most expensive auction. Swiatek and her team have also been taking part in the Noble Gift Project since 2020. It helps to provide families, which have found themselves in difficult financial circumstances for reasons beyond their control during the Christmas period. Swiatek also took part in auction for SOS Children's Villages Poland, putting up her autographed cap from Miami opened. IN one of interviews the teacher from Swiatek's elementary school in Razin revealed that after winning her second French Open title, she pledged to help upgrade the school's sports facilities, among which was a single tennis court. She also donated the shirt she wore in the final, tennis balls and her cap to the school, all signed for auction to raise money for one of the students who needed urgent and expensive medical treatment. In November 2021, Swiatek was announced in lineup for Africa Cares Tennis Challenge Tennis Exhibition in Johannesburg which was aimed to not only promote tennis in South Africa, but was to be used as a vehicle in the fight against gender-based violence through campaigns and activations leading up to the main event. Other players in the lineup included Simona Halep, Venus Williams, Sloane Stevens, and Martina Hingis. On November 30 it was announced event was cancelled due to concerns regarding growing amount of cases of COVID-19 infections. Advocating for Mental Health Awareness on October 10, 2021, Swiatek donated $50,000 of her prize money in support of World Mental Health Day, after progressing to the last 16 of the Indian Wells Open. I would say in sports, for me, it was always important to use that kind of help because I always thought that in my mental toughness there is some strength that I can use on court and I can also develop in that manner, she said. After winning in at the French Open in 2020, Swiatek revealed that using her sports psychologist, 
Daria Abramovich, had helped her get over the line. It's just good to stay open-minded. If you need that kind of help, then go for it. If you're up to it and if you're open-minded, I think it helps a lot, Swiatek added. In her runner-up speech after losing the final to Barbara Krejcikova on the Ostrava Open on October 9, 2022, Swiatek announced she will donate all of her prize money, 58,032 euros, won in the tournament to Polish non-profit organizations and foundations to celebrate World Mental Health Day. This is the most difficult moment of this tournament for me. I do not know what to say. Thank you so much. Whether I win or not, I am fulfilling my dreams, and you with me. I wish I won because I would be able to donate more, but I would like to announce that I will donate my prize money to non-profit organizations in Poland on Monday, which is World Mental Health Day. I hope this money can help a lot of people and make some change. On October 12, 2023, Swiatek announced that she would donate 300,000 PLN, $70,000, to UNICEF Poland to help in the field of mental health in Poland and all over the world, as part of celebration of World Mental Health Day along with the major announcement, she shared her thoughts and motivated other people as well. I would like to encourage you to have a look around and see if there's someone there who could use your help. You can make a donation of your choice to organizations like UNICEF that professionally help people, if you're able to. Support of Ukraine Following the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Swiatek has often worn ribbons or other accessories in Ukrainian colors, and on several occasions has publicly declared her support for Ukraine in her winner speeches. On July 23, 2022, Swiatek hosted a charity tennis event in Krakow, Poland to raise funds for children and teenagers impacted by the war in Ukraine. The one-day event featured a mixed doubles exhibition match and a set of singles between Swiatek and Agnieszka Radwanska. Ukraine football great Andriy Shevchenko was a special guest. Alina Svitolina of Ukraine served as umpire for the event. Swiatek stated, I hope that we can see each other in large numbers in Toron Arena Krakow and in front of the television to show the strength of sport when it unites us in helping and gives us at least a little joy. Swiatek later announced on Twitter that the event has raised over 2.5 MLN Zloty, over 500,000 euros, which would be spread between United24, Alina Svitolina Foundation and UNICEF Poland. On August 10, Swiatek has been announced as the part of lineup for Tennis Plays for Peace exhibition, which took place on August 24 with other numerous current and former tennis stars like Rafael Nadal, Carlos Alcaraz, Coco Gauff, John McEnroe, Stefanos Tsitsipas, Matteo Berrettini, Maria Sakkari, and many others, 100% of the proceeds going to Global Giving, the international non-profit identified by Tennis Place for Peace. On January 9, 2023, Swiatek took to Twitter and Instagram to announce that her IGA and Friends and 1GA t-shirts will be available for sale at Allegro Charity, where she and UNICEF Poland have once again joined forces to raise funds for children in war-torn Ukraine. On January 11, Swiatek once again announced on her social media platforms that she will be auctioning off her U.S. Open winning gear and French Open shoes, among others all proceeds would also be going straight to UNICEF. Personal life Swiatek is a cat lover and owns a black female cat named Grappa. She enjoys reading novels and listening to music. Before her matches, she listens to rock music, especially Pearl Jam, Pink Floyd, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and ACDC. In her spare time, she listens to alternative music, jazz, soul, and pop. She is also a fan of Taylor Swift. I in an interview with Tennis Channel, she described Michaela Schifrin as a good role model and said she really respects her. She also mentioned being a fan of actress Sandra Bullock and her films. In addition to being a successful athlete, Swiatek was always known as an excellent and diligent student in primary and high school. Despite her tour schedules, she always studied during the tournaments, before coming back to school in person to pass the tests. Prior to her success at the 2020 French Open, Swiatek completed her high school requirements, with excellent results in her final examination, better known as examen matrilny, with 83% for Polish at basic level. 100% for English at basic level, 96% for advanced English and 100% for mathematics. 
She has also admitted that she would like to go to university and study something related to mathematics at some point. Swiatek is a known book lover on the WTA tour and brings books to each tournament. For example, she read Murder on the Orient Express at the 2022 French Open and Gone with the Wind at the 2021 US Open. She says that books help her concentrate on tournaments and help her to avoid using her phone for longer than needed.